What's up, party people? Another semester is done. On winter break, it's actually Christmas Eve today, so Merry Christmas to you fine and wonderful people. My wife has to work today, so I'm stuck around the house packing the car and getting the dog ready to go to the in-laws. And now I have one more semester. So I originally thought I was only gonna have two more classes, both of which are comparatively easy, but I pulled in an extremely boneheaded move, which I'm gonna pay for dearly, and which is the fact that I forgot to do a midterm for my elective course. To make a very long story short, I forgot to do it. It was online and, and there was no coming back from that because it was like 20 or 30% of my grade. So I'm kicking myself pretty hard in the pants for that one, but live and learn, I guess. So now I have three sem uh, three classes next semester. So still don't know where we're going to be moving quite yet. Anna, my wife, uh, finally submitted all of her applications for University of Kansas, Auburn University, and the University of Florida. Um, it's looking pretty likely that we'll be back at Auburn, which is is a double-edged sword for me because I, I love and miss Auburn and Alabama in general, but that's also a very small town. Uh, which makes the job market and the you know the the job pool very small compared to somewhere like Gainesville, which is where the University of Florida is, which is population-wise probably ten times that of Auburn. So it is what it is, but I'll figure something out. My uh, internship is going well. Um, I was in the process of writing a story, and that got put on hold until probably the beginning of next semester which is unfortunate but and hopefully i will get at least two more including that one i would love to have five but i think four would be cool um, so hopefully i can make that happen in some form or fashion and i have applied for a few freelance posi writing positions but like i think i've said in the past most of those they want people with a lot more experience and they want to have you know, a, a nice handful of work as examples to submit to them, like with a resume. And right now I only have two. So a lot of them are like three to five or whatever, and they want several years of experience. So I applied anyhow, because it can't hurt. doesn't cost me anything very, very uh, low effort. So, and I haven't heard back from those. I'm not going to hold my breath. I'll probably just forget about them, but I just wanted to shoot my shot really. But I did finally pass differential equations. Um, I don't know if I made it explicit last time, but that's a class I failed several times and I finally passed it and that was a huge weight off my shoulders because it's a prereq for another class that I have and I can't take them at the same time. So if I had failed it again, I would have to take it next semester again and I would have to take, I would be stuck in school another semester and it would postpone my graduation by a semester. And that was really frustrating because I just couldn't figure out what I was doing wrong. And I think that with each time that I took differential equations, I got more stressed out about it and more worked up and it made my anxiety and my test anxiety go even higher. And I just couldn't figure it out because generally speaking, most people would say the differential equations is pretty easy compared to upper level math all of which that I've taken largely without problem, like topology and graph theory and very abstract stuff, group theory. But for some reason, DiffEq is like, I don't know, it was just the tedium and like just a ton of fucking memorization. I don't know, but I'm finally done with it. And it was a huge weight off my shoulders. It was frankly pretty embarrassing that I had to retake it several times, but shit happens, I guess. So right now life's pretty Gucci. I got that out of the way. I got one semester left that's filled with pretty easy classes. And then it's onwards and upwards from college. It's felt like I felt every moment of this four years for sure. Um, I'm ready for it to be over and I think it's pretty unlikely that I'll go to grad school, especially if, if I have to pay for it. I don't think I'm nearly competitive enough to get a fellowship. Um, and I don't think I would ever pay for grad school out of pocket. So, excuse me. But I'm not going to entirely take it off the table because I said that before about the military and then I said that about a math degree and, you know, I'm, I feel like I'm always saying that. I'd never do that and then I turn around and do it. <laughs> so on a completely unrelated note, uh, as far as other stuff I have going on, for the past three months, 
four months. At the end of December will be four months. I have been preparing for an ultra marathon. So if you're not familiar with that, an ultra marathon is anything longer than the standard marathon distance, which is 26.2 miles. So you could run 30 miles and it would be considered an ultra. You could run 50, 100, 150, 200. Those are all lumped into the ultra marathons. But I decided that um, I've, I've been into distance running most of my life and I did it competitively in high school and I was only mediocre at it. But it's always been really interesting to me and I like watching running documentaries about like really talented people like Courtney DeWalter and stuff. But anyhow, I decided I wanted to run an ultra before my 30th birthday. I think I want to do a 50 miler. So I gave myself two years to do that because I decided this around my birthday and I turned 28. So I gave myself two years to prepare for a 50 miler. I haven't picked one yet. Uh, it will probably be wherever we live. So Alabama, so it might be a little hilly maybe in the mountains, I don't know, we'll see. Still gotta pick one and prepare for it. But right now in my training progression, I'm just trying to like linearly progress really. So every two to three weeks, I'll add a mile. And I started at three miles. So for three weeks, I did three miles and then four and then five and then six. Right now I'm doing eight, um, eight miles at a time. But anyhow, the, the <laughs> that's a long build up. The point of that was that not only am I um, training for that, which is, been pretty enjoyable for me. I've liked it a lot. Um, I'm also filming all of it, so I'm I'm <laughs> I'm still drawing it out. I'm I'm making a documentary about it, and obviously it's very low budget. It's just I'm a one man band. It's just me and this camera, and you know my setups and stuff. But that's been really fun and whatnot. So I look forward to that. It's obviously going to be a very long process because I'm not going to be able to finish it until I actually run the race. So. It's gonna be a, a work in progress for two years, but that's been a lot of fun as well. And just the running in general has consumed a lot of my spare time, which I don't hate um, because it gives me an opportunity to procrastinate from homework and other things that I really need to do. So that's, that's another thing. But uh, beyond that, I have nothing new going on. Just trying to grind out these last semesters while the, the apathy sets in and the senioritis and doing a lot of running and trying to write as much as I can. I think that's about it. But otherwise, um, I hope you find people have a wonderful Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays and a great New Year. Anyhow, we'll see you guys later.